Module 5. Small Arms and Light Weapons Identification and Categorization Module 5 provides potential definitions for the types of conventional arms contained in Article 2, Paragraph 1H of the Arms Trade Treaty, namely Small Arms and Light Weapons, also known as SALW. The module has three aims – to foster understanding of the types of small arms and light weapons to be reported to the ATT, to help identify the synergies in the types of small arms and light weapons covered by the UN Register and the ATT, and to provide information on the sources that can be utilised to support small arms and light weapons identification and categorization. This module draws upon several potential sources of guidance for the definitions of small arms and light weapons and for identification and categorization. It provides some guidance for a minimum definition for SALW and some indications for broader scope for this category. Article 5, paragraph 3 of the ATT provides instruction that, at a minimum, the national definitions for the conventional arms contained in Article 2, paragraph 1H of the Arms Trade Treaty shall not cover less than the descriptions used in relevant United Nations instruments at the time of entry into force of this treaty. The ATT entered into force on the 24th of December 2014. The most relevant UN instrument that provides a description for SALW at the time of entry into force of the ATT is the Instrument to Enable States to Identify and Trace in a Timely and Reliable Manner Illicit Small Arms and Light Weapons, also known as the ITI, which was adopted by UN Member States in 2005. The ITI defines small arms and light weapons as any man-portable lethal weapon that expels or launches, is designed to expel or launch, or may be readily converted to expel or launch a shot, bullet or projectile by the action of an explosive, excluding antique small arms and light weapons or their replicas. Antique small arms and light weapons and their replicas will be defined in accordance with domestic law. In no case will antique small arms and light weapons include those manufactured after 1899. Small arms are, broadly speaking, weapons designed for individual use. They include, inter alia, revolvers and self-loading pistols, rifles and carbines, submachine guns, assault rifles and light machine guns. Light weapons are, broadly speaking, weapons designed for use by two or three persons serving as a crew, although some may be carried and used by a single person. They include, inter alia, heavy machine guns, handheld under barrel and mounted grenade launchers, portable anti-aircraft guns, portable anti-tank guns, recoilless rifles, portable launchers of anti-tank missile and rocket systems, portable launchers of anti-aircraft missile systems, and mortars of a calibre of less than 100 mm. The definition of SALW included in the ITI and the examples of weapons types listed are derived from the 1997 report of the UN Panel of Governmental Experts on Small Arms. The panel reported that, broadly speaking, small arms are those weapons designed for personal use and light weapons are those designed for use by several persons serving as a crew. The types of arms classified as small arms and light weapons are the same as the indicative list in the ITI. Article 13, paragraph 3 indicates that ATT annual reports may contain the same information submitted by the state party to relevant United Nations frameworks, including the UN Register. The UN Register is available online. The About tab on the UN Register website provides the current descriptions for the categories of the UN Register. Since 2004, states have been invited to provide information on international transfers of small arms and light weapons to the UN Register. The UN Register does not provide a definition for SALW. The UN Office for Disarmament Affairs provides some guidance in Guidelines for Reporting International Transfers to the UN Register. The latest version of the guidelines was produced in 2007. It advises those states seeking to provide information on international transfers of SALW to report according to their own situation, but to bear in mind the focus of the UN Register on military weapons, man-portable weapons made or modified to military specification for use as lethal instruments of war. 
As noted in Module 2, a reporting form has been available since 2006 to assist those states that provide information on international transfers of SALW. The form provides no definition of SALW but contains most of the subcategories of small arms and light weapons outlined in the ITI definition. The UN Register Reporting Form also provides the option for states to provide information on international transfers of SALW that do not neatly fit into the subcategories using the heading of Other. There is broad overlap between the ITI definition and the UN Register Form for Light Weapons, although the UN Register Form does not include portable anti-aircraft guns or portable launchers of anti-aircraft missile systems. The latter, portable launchers of anti-aircraft missile systems, also known as MAN pads, are covered by Category 7 of the UN Register. States have been invited to provide information on transfers of mortars of calibers less than 75mm as large mortars are covered by Category 3 of the UN Register. The 2016 GGE on the UN Register recommended that the UN Secretary-General appealed to member states in a position to do so to provide information on international transfers of small arms and light weapons using the standardised reporting form for international transfers of small arms and light weapons. The recommendation subtly called for a change in the status of reporting on international transfers of SALW based upon a 7 plus 1 formula. The 2016 GGE explained that the 7 plus 1 formula means that international transfers of SALW are reported in parallel with the seven categories of the register, but would not be represented as an eighth category on the standardised reporting form used for the seven existing categories. Therefore, the UN Register reporting form now largely mirrors the ATT reporting form. Module 1 has introduced several regional and multilateral instruments that could be useful for defining, categorising and identifying conventional arms that could be included in ATT annual reports. The descriptions of SALW provided in the guidance for Wassenaar Arrangement, Information Exchange on Conventional Arms Transfers, are also largely comparable to the descriptions in the ITI. The Organisation for Security and Cooperation in Europe or OSCE, document on small arms and light weapons of November 2000 defined SALW for the purpose of the document as man-portable weapons made or modified to military specifications for use as lethal instruments of war. The subcategories are the same as for the 1997 report and ITI. The Economic Community of West African States or ECOWAS, Convention on Small Arms, Light Weapons, Their Ammunition and Other Associated Material, also provides definitions for small arms and light weapons that are broadly comparable with those in UN instruments. There are obvious similarities in the title subcategories for SALW in the ITI, the UN Register and Regional Instruments. This module also utilises information provided by states in their submissions to the UN Register and their first ATT annual reports. Five states' parties provided a national definition for SALW for reporting purposes in their 2016 ATT annual report. Belgium, Germany, New Zealand, Sweden and Switzerland. Several sources provide descriptions and guidance that could be useful for reporting exports and imports of small arms and light weapons. The Southeastern and Eastern Europe Clearinghouse for the Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons, or CSAC, has developed several tools to support reporting on arms transfers by Western Balkan states, and that could be useful for ATT states' parties in general. For this module, the Weapons Categorization tool is particularly useful. The Bonn International Conversion Centre's interactive guide on small arms and light weapons also provides useful information. UN and regional instruments do not provide descriptions or definitions for the subcategories of SALW contained in the ATT reporting form. The rest of this module introduces descriptions for these subcategories drawn from the legal commentary on the Arms Trade Treaty authored by Stuart Casey Maslin, Andrew Clapham, Gilles Giacca and Sarah Parker. Small arms. Revolvers and self-loading pistols. Revolvers. Revolvers are handguns with multiple parallel chambers within a cylinder that rotates to place each chamber in turn in line with the barrel. 
Self-loading pistols. Self-loading pistols are handguns that extract and eject the fired cartridge case immediately after firing and chamber a new round from the gun's magazine. Rifles and carbines. Rifles. Rifles are long-rifled firearms primarily intended to be fired braced against the shoulder with a barrel length which is typically of 400 mm or longer and can be either a manual or semi-automatic mechanism. Carbines A carbine may be considered any type of short and compact rifle and can be defined as either 1. a short-barreled variant of a rifle or 2 a short semi-automatic rifle that is chambered for a handgun caliber cartridge. Submachine guns Submachine guns are rifled firearms chambered for a handgun caliber cartridge capable of automatic fire and typically fitted with a shoulder stock. Assault rifles Assault rifles are rifles capable of firing multiple shots with each trigger pull, primarily intended to be fired from the shoulder and chambered for a rifle caliber cartridge. Assault rifles are variously described by some sources as automatic rifles, battle rifles, or in the case of short barrel types, carbines. Light machine guns. Light machine guns are rifled firearms capable of firing multiple shots with each trigger pull, intended to be fired from a bipod or mount, and capable of being carried and operated by an individual. UN member states have reported international transfers of general purpose machine guns or GPMGs in the light machine gun subcategory. Other small arms. The ATT reporting form and the UN register form for reporting international transfers of SALW also provide a subcategory for other small arms. Shotguns. Several ATT states parties reported on the international transfer of shotguns in their first ATT annual reports, filing such information in the Other Small Arms subcategory. A shotgun is a man-portable lethal weapon that expels or launches, is designed to expel or launch, or may be readily converted to expel or launch a shot, bullet or projectile by the action of an explosive. Light weapons. Heavy machine guns. Heavy machine guns are crew-served rifled firearms, typically firing multiple shots with each trigger pull, intended for sustained fire at medium, that is 300 metres, to long, or 1,000 metres or more, ranges. The calibre of most contemporary heavy machine guns is in the range of 12.7 millimetres and 15 millimetres. The calibre of such weapons could be up to that of the 20 millimetres of automatic cannon. Handheld underbarrel and mounted grenade launchers. Handheld grenade launchers. Handheld grenade launchers are shoulder fired weapons designed for use by an individual operator and firing subsonic self contained cartridge or caseless ammunition of 20mm to 40mm calibre or more at typical maximum ranges of 400 to 1000 metres. These weapons can be manually loaded single-shot or multi-shot and can be operated manually or via pump action, bolt action or revolver type mechanisms or from a fixed or removable magazine. Underbarrel grenade launchers Underbarrel grenade launchers are designed to be attached below the barrel of another weapon, typically an infantry rifle or carbine, and can fire similar ammunition to that used for handheld grenade launchers. Mounted grenade launchers. Mounted grenade launchers are crew served weapons operated from a ground or vehicle mount. They are usually belt fed and automatic in operation, giving rise to the terms automatic grenade launcher or AGL and grenade machine gun or GMG. Portable anti aircraft guns. Portable anti-aircraft guns are those machine guns or light cannon of no greater than 20mm in calibre that are distinguished from other types of machine guns by their mounts and sights. Such guns are fitted to mechanical mounts which allow them to rotate in a full 360 degree arc and elevate up to vertical or nearly vertical. The UN Register reporting form does not include a subcategory for portable anti-aircraft guns, but several UN member states have reported the transfer of 14.5mm anti-aircraft guns in the subcategory Other Light Weapons. 
Portable anti-tank guns. Portable anti-tank guns fire high-velocity, primarily kinetic ammunition designed to penetrate vehicle armour. The concept of an anti-tank gun is dated, as portable anti-tank guns are from the Second World War era. Some UN member states have used this subcategory to provide information on international transfers of anti-materiel rifles, or AMRs. Anti-materiel rifles are portable rifles of calibre 12.7mm to 20mm, which have a range of up to 2,000 metres for use against light armoured vehicles. Recoilless rifles Recoilless rifles are direct fire support weapons defined by their rifled barrels and a system of operation in which propellant gases or another countermass such as a powder or liquid are expelled from the rear of the launch tube or barrel. These weapons typically range between 57mm to 90mm in calibre. Portable launchers of anti-tank missile and rocket systems Portable launchers of anti-tank missile and rocket systems are weapons that fire a rocket-propelled munition with an explosive warhead designed to defeat tank armour. These have also been referred to as man-portable anti-tank systems or man-pats or m-pats. An anti-tank missile system, often called an anti-tank guided missile or ATGM, is a type of anti-tank guided weapon or ATGW, which launches munitions that are then directed towards their intended target using one or more guidance principles, such as line of sight, semi-automatic guidance or laser electro-optical image seeker, that is, fire and forget. Rocket launchers are unguided and must be manually aimed. Portable launchers of anti-aircraft missile systems Portable launchers of anti-aircraft missile systems are included in Module 4, which discusses man-portable air defence systems, or man-pads, in the context of the missiles and missile launcher category. Mortars of a calibre of less than 75 millimetres. Module 4 noted that the UN Register Description for Large Calibre Artillery covers mortars of at least 75 mm calibre. The established definition for light weapons includes mortars up to 100 mm calibre. Mortars are a form of light artillery consisting of a simple launch tube and a large stabilising base plate which fire a caseless explosive projectile and are typically employed in an indirect fire roll. Mortars are usually loaded from the muzzle with a projectile that is dropped down the tube and ignited on impact with the bottom of the tube. Other light weapons The ATT reporting form and the UN register form for reporting international transfers of small arms and light weapons also provide a subcategory for other light weapons. States mainly have used this subcategory to provide information on international transfers of portable anti-aircraft guns. However, one could argue that this subcategory could also be used to cover weapons that are entirely omitted or excluded by definition from the ITI, such as flamethrowers, which function by projecting a stream of ignited flammable liquid, directed energy weapons, including lasers, or electromagnetic projectile accelerators, such as railguns and coil guns.